it all started, we was in Atlanta. And this story starts when I'm with Puff and he's in the exotic bookstores and he's doing shopping, right? He's shopping, getting his stuff and everything like that. So, you know, this is the first time I was ever in an exotic bookstore with Puff. So, you know, I'm giving him his space. He's taking things off shelves and stuff like that because they gave him a brown paper bag. When they gave him a brown paper bag, he was just putting stuff in there. So I said, damn, you know, he got to go put it on the counter and, you know, show everybody what he's getting. So as he's going, I'm just looking at the... Hustling about 2 point on man. Let's get this out the way, gang. Y'all already know what it is, man. Back with another video. You dig what I'm saying? Hey, hit that like. Thank y'all for y'all comments. Hit them like buttons buttons, y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. Hey, we're going to keep going up. Shouts out to Positivity Gang, Hustle Squad, Hustle Universe. This dude right here, I forgot his name, but that's Puff Daddy X Bodyguard, you did. That Puff was running around with back in the G, you did. So, bro, basically saying some strong allegations, you dig what I'm saying, about Puff Daddy and Ja Rule. Hey, you know it's weird, man. You know people, people these days, bro. They disrespect a lot of people. They they respect and give people um, their attention because they got money and all this. But it don't matter what these dudes be doing. You dig what I'm saying? And how they live their life and all that. You dig? But tomorrow, tomorrow. Let's see what's going on, y'all. Y'all already know what it is. Welcome. Let's see what's going going. The places where he picking stuff from. So there's one part he. <laughs> He picked up uh, some things from up here on my left side. And then he, he picked like a, quite a few of them down. I'm like, okay. He put them in the bag. So when I went by there and I looked up there I, and it said butt plugs. And I was like, hey, yo. <laughs> I, no. was, I was messing with him. Because people don't understand, you know, we was, we, we was like friends. He was a part of the same gang. So I'm still going to tease him. I'm still going to mess with him and everything like that. I can do that. It wasn't just no security thing. So I say, yo, what are you getting this for? <laughs> and he said, butt plugs. And he was like, yo, yo, can I do my shopping by myself? I said, yeah, you could do it by yourself, brother. And he started walking and everything like that. When he got to, I just waited at the counter. That shit's like weird and crazy. Everybody already know how Puff is. Everybody been know how Puff is. They don't care. People still deal with this dude. You feel me? Even though he been exposed, you did. And I understand dudes like this too. His bodyguard, like, bro, why you just now saying certain things about you know this and that? You know, everybody got agendas to do stuff, but shit be weird, bro. And people still gonna deal with Puff. People still gonna love Puffy, and he's a whole fucking. Zesty boy, he been that though. But let's put my little two cents in. There. You know, people, people, morals and principle these days is off, bro. They don't care. As long as you got money, you they God. So when he got to the counter, he didn't even have to show the guy nothing. He just gave the guy a wad of money. I mean, I mean, like he gave the guy a stack something like this. And Puff wasn't a dude to carry no twenties and no fifties or nothing like that. And I mean, like he just said, boom. And we walked out the store. So we had to leave Atlanta and go to uh, North Carolina for a show. You understand? And um, it was him, this rapper, Sarah, and this other girl. We all got on a, G, a G, G5 jet and we flew to, uh, G4 jet, and we flew to North Carolina because they was doing the show. You know what I'm saying? So, um... They were going to do the show the next day. So, uh, uh, they all, Puff had the presidential suite, and him, the rapper, Sarah, and this other girl, young girl. They was I'm saying, my dude, you're going to say something, man. Say something. He's saying Puff name, but he's saying the rapper and this and that. Maybe he's going to get to the point of what rapper he's talking about. He's saying, oh, yeah, Puff. He's saying everybody else's name, but the but what they asking them about and what people want to know what rapper, dude. You dig what I'm saying? But maybe you're going to get to that point. You know, everything for entertainment purposes only. But like, bro, 
Like, you gonna say something. Say it. You know what I'm saying? You gonna call somebody out. Call somebody out. Stand on that, bro. Like, be around the bush. Could have been say this dude, man. Hey. Say it. Now, you hear all it. You hear all the stuff going on and everything like that. I was like, yo, oh, okay. So I heard a bell ring. When the bell ring, I go to the door. It was up. He said, um, uh, my cousin up here in the room, I want I, I want to check him. You don't see his eye. I said, who your cousin? He said, uh, Ja Ru. I said, he good. He said, uh, yeah, but I want to check on him. I said, in the room. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, and this dude right here, he came out with a documentary, and he been coming out exposing a lot of stuff that what Bad Boy was doing, stuff who happened with Biggie, uh, uh, Mace, a whole bunch of stuff, like, bro, really, you know. And he and, and, and nobody yet came to dispute him and said anything he was saying wrong. You know what I'm saying? None of that. He ain't come out. It was no news about him being a fraud or lying about, you know, certain things and stuff like that. It's actually people came out that dealt with bad boy and dudes and stuff like that were vouching for bro. So, I'm not saying it's true or not. But, whoa. Shit be crazy, bro. It don't be, it be crazy, but it just be, it always be crazy, but it's just like, man. Just never know, bro. Just never know, bro. See what's going on? What you do in the dark can't come to the light. Remember that. Can't come to the light. But people gonna still deal with Puffy. And probably still deal with Ja Rule. 50 Cent probably gonna be at uh, Ja Rule. And y'all let me know if this old or whatever like that. Now, I just, you know, it really just been popping up places and stuff like that, so I'm thinking it's like something recent, you know what I'm saying, or I, I'm thinking, well, I'm just saying, I think um, bro just came out recently and just said this, you feel me, and exposed this, you did, but y'all let me know in the comments, I know y'all will, positivity game, y'all know that? Room, man, they don't want to be bothered, he said, well, I'm going to go check on my cousin, I said, bro, you ain't getting in that room. He was like, yo, I'm getting in that room. I said, yeah, bro, trust me. Jesus Christ had to gonna come down here and take the air out of my body for you to get in that room. Believe what I'm saying. Yo, I'm going in that room. So he tried to do the bum rush, go in the room. I grabbed him, threw him up against the piano. You know, it was a little, you know how you throwing somebody around the room, throw him up against the piano. And Right, bro, think about this too, though. I don't know. Really, but... Why would another grown man want to check on another grown man so bad like that? And I'm just, I know that's his cousin, that's his family. But at the end of the day, your cousin a grown ass man, bro. Why are you so adamant to go and check, it up, check on your cousin like he like him? Like, like, like <laughs> something happening to him or he in harm's way or, or you know, his life is in jeopardy. Like, why, is, why was his cousin so adamant? Like, so strong, like, trying to get in the room with them. Like, what was up with his cousin? Like, what what he's, what was that situation? What, what was going on right there? Feel me? Like, anybody to add to this, add to this, this little part I'm saying, you feel what I'm saying? Like, why was his cousin trying to get in that room so bad? Why? At the end of the day, a grown man is a grown man. He in there with Puffy. Uh, man, Puffy, man, that's a man. That man is a man, a monster, son. That man was a despicable man, for real. Despicable. So understand the shit, bro. And then Weird. Puff ran out. He was grabbing the towel. Ja ran out. He was grabbing the towel. Ja Ru ran out. He was grabbing the towel. And then Ja Ru, ja Ru like, Puff was like, "What, well, JJ? What's up?" I said. Yo, dude tried to get in the room, man. He said he jock cousin. And um, I told him he couldn't go in the room. He was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, Gene, that's my cousin. That's my cousin. He said, he said, but you didn't want to go up in there because it was a lot of freaking going on. That's exactly what he said. You know what I mean? Well, freaky stuff going on. And uh, um, <laughs> and I said, uh, I let him go. 
And then uh, Puff looked at Ja Rule. He was like, and they went back in the room. When Ja said, you don't want to come up in there. A lot of freaky stuff is going on. You like, bro, this is weird, bro. Like, this is weird. That's what I'm saying. Why did his cousin want to get up in there so bad? You know your cousin Jaru. You know you never puffy. You about to fight a security guard to get in that mug. See, that's why I fit you and hate Jaru, bro. That's what I'm saying. This, if, if this recent or not, I mean, if these recent allegations, because that's all it is at the end of the day, allegations, you feel me? I know 50 Cent would have been ate this up. We'll see in a few days, because I know I'm just not seeing it, and it's popping up everywhere, really. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I know we bring clarity and some type of understanding to it, like, like, uh, some type of understanding, like, why was his cousin trying to get in there so bad, bro? Bad. Trying to fight a nigga to get in there. You got to use something. your mind. What they was doing with those butt plugs. <laughs> First of all, 2.0, man, it was like a little light video, so I was just trying to get a little commentation. A little bit longer than usual, or whatever, like that, man. At the end of the day, man, it's the channel about Hustling Blood Universe, Hustling Blood, Hustling Squad, Positivity Gang. Y'all already know what it is, man. We're gonna keep it going, we're gonna keep it rolling. Y'all know I put them two cents in, you did all the time, man. Hey, keep God first, you understand what I'm saying? Hey, take care of yourself, try to look out for you for the real ones and the people that you know really got love for you. Keep a positive mental attitude. Keep a positive mental attitude. Keep a positive mental attitude. I'll see you on the next one. I'm about to drop one right now, man. Hey, run them lights up, man. Y'all be sharing these, man. Hey, let's run it up like we do. I really, really appreciate y'all. I'll see you on the next one. Love y'all, gang. This is weird.